from House Ways and Means, Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, it's good to see you again. Happy New hey, Year. Too. Your Happy reaction to that report, is this just a slap on the wrist? Yeah, it is. And what's crazy is the Trump administration had them designated as an FTO, a foreign terrorist organization. And as soon as the Biden administration got elected, they removed them. And the Houthis have been attacking uh, all, all sorts of people in the Red Sea, and they still aren't moving so far as to label them as an FTO. And it's interesting, the State Department's response is, oh, they're not going to fill out a visa and get admitted in the country. They don't have to. They just have to come to the southern border, where 10 million illegal immigrants have been entered into our country, more than 100-something, almost 200 designated terrorists on the terrorist watch list. Uh, so you have an administration that's soft on terrorism, and you're seeing the results of that. Attacks on our service members in Iraq and Syria, attacks on cargo ships in the Red Sea, and it's not going to end there. They're being emboldened because they're going to continue to behave this way unless we, we act strongly. Yeah, I mean, so you, your point is well taken that we have a border collapse in the middle of heightened Mideast tensions amid a war in Ukraine with Russia. Yeah. Are you worried that Mideast tensions are e escalating even more because Pakistan launched retaliatory airstrikes early this morning in Iran, targeting allegedly Iranian terror hideouts? It killed at least nine. Pakistan bombing Iran after Iran bombed southwestern the southwestern Pakistani province of Baluchistan. So what, it, what are your colleagues saying about tensions increasing in the Mideast? Yeah, they are increasing because we have weak leadership in this White House. And if the United States is not standing strong on foreign policy and being the leader in the world, the you know, other people are going to take our place. And, and you're going to see these type of attacks and Pakistan having to stand up and Israel having to defend itself without us stepping in and helping them against a designated terrorist organization that this administration gave money to the Palestinian Authority, gave money and, and allowed $6 billion to go to the Iranians. And then we wonder why all of these munitions uh, and all these terrorist attacks are happening all around the Middle East and around the world because we're allowing it to happen. Okay, so Senator John Kennedy would agree with you. Senator John Kennedy is calling for tougher action on Iran. He says the president will not enforce tougher sanctions on Iran. Iran pulled in an estimated $100 billion in things like increased oil exports. Uh, so what is going on with the White House? Why are they going weak on Iran? Yeah, I don't know why they're weak on the border, weak on Iran, weak on terrorists. Instead of standing for the American people and the safety and security of the American people, they're standing for terrorists in Iran and all these other regimes that wish us death and harm. Uh, they've released billions of dollars to the Iranians, and the Iranians then fund the Houthis and fund Hezbollah and fund Hamas. And we wonder why there's so much terror going on in the Middle East and the attacks on Israel, because the United States is not standing strong against terrorist organizations. Got it. Congressman Greg Stubbe, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to good see, see you. See you.